What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering. And from time to time, you've got to monitor your own quote unquote side of things. And while I almost universally support anything that um, touts anonymity or protects, you know, freedom of speech, this particular push by many people, most of which conserv are conservative leaning for this idea of a quote freedom phone is very concerning to me because the idea in and of itself is hilarious. The owner um, is suspicious, in my opinion. And there are a lot of people pushing this thing. And I just want to take a look at it just so you know, before you buy anything, um, this seems suspect. So the idea is that they're appealing to the Trump supporter crowd, the mega crowd. It's a $500 smartphone, okay? Not made in America. From what I've seen, probably made in China, but we'll get to that in a second. The Freedom Phone says it's a free speech and privacy first focused phone with features like tracking blockers and uncensorable app store. While that sounds great, um, what I'm concerned about is this phone will become a network for weirdos who like to trade certain type of pictures that shouldn't be traded. But the bigger problem will be uh, if you're not blocking anything from the app store, how will you protect people against spyware? Uh, and it's going to be a haven for that kind of stuff. Um, they claim, of course, it works with Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile, and Sprint, and all other domestic and international carriers. Uh, move phones over in 60 seconds. Well, I've got something for you, uh, you know, an inconvenient truth. They're like, you know, once you're on these people's networks, they have your data anyway. Um, and they say an incensorable app store. Well... You can already install any kind of app you want via an APK, which is probably what this sort of thing is. It's not an uncensorable app store. Essentially, it's an app built for people to put their APKs in that they claim won't be banned. Although, what about spyware and a variety of things like that? Big features, woo, DuckDuckGo, a dead parlor app, Rumble, Mines, and Newsmax. I mean, they're not, e I mean, okay, fine. The Freedom OS. We've developed the first mass marketable mobile phone operating system based on free speech. Uh, did you though? You're not telling anybody anything about the camera. Large storage, six inch screen, great camera. Okay, it does everything your current phone does. Easily transfer phones. Now, they don't tell you about anything of the specs of the actual phone because they don't want you to know where it actually comes from. Where it comes from is what it looks like to me anyway, is China. Uh, now, they've claimed that it's being produced in Hong Kong, so that's entirely possible. But in my opinion, it absolutely looks eerily similar to another mass-produced Chinesium phone. And if you look at a lot of the news articles around this, you know, you see a lot of digging. So, because obviously anything that attempts to kind of market off the Trump uh, name or fandom is going to get extra scrutiny in the media. But right in the terms of service of the Freedom Phone, you see the Freedom Phone is a free speech and privacy first focused phone with features like tracking blockers and an un uncensorable app store. Their privacy policy states, we use your personal data to provide and improve the service. By using the service, you agree to the collection and use of information in accordance with this privacy policy. So the phone itself makes you agree to allow them to collect your data. I mean, come on, guys. All right. And it gets worse. You see this article from uh, Insider. Trump fans like Candace Owens and Jack Posobiec are hyping a fi the $500 Freedom Phone, which appears to be a cheap Chinese handset with a big markup. Um, and look, I'm be very clear. Uh, a lot of these people who promoted this, I am friends friendly with. Um, I've met in real life. And if they took this as an advertising deal, that's, you know, whatever. It is what it is. But, you know, this is pretty insane. The launch of a, quote, uncensorable smartphone aimed at the United States conservatives is being hyped by Trump world figures like Candace Owens and Jack Posobiec. But it all may not be it may not all 
may not be all it's cracked up to be. The $500 Freedom Foam targets users concerned about big tech censorship. It comes preloaded with apps like Parler Rumble Newsmax as well as Privacy Guard. Despite the price tag, the phone appears to be a reworking of the Chinese handsets available for as little as $119. And there's also a hilarious um, issue with, you know, the announcement of this, which we're going to get to in a second. The phone has gained enthusiastic endorsements from across the magosphere, uh, from Jack Posobiec to Ali Alexander. Uh, Candace Owens tweeted that she's a proud partner of the product, adding a promo code, which probably means she's getting, a, you know, getting a sponsorship deal. But as the Daily Beast reported, the handset is from budget Chinese brand Umi Digi and comes at a hefty markup. Finman confirmed that Umi Digi origins, but was not unable to tell the beast of which models the Freedom Phone was. Matthew Hickey, the co-founder of cybersecurity firm Hacker House, told the Daily Dot that the phone is most likely a rebranded version of Umi Digi's A9 Pro and an Android-based. It's an Android-based phone that retails for $133 and could be found for $119. Umi Digi's most expensive model, the Bison Pro, normally priced at $299, is as little as $190 elsewhere and does not resemble the Freedom Phone's promotional images, suggesting the phone is model is a little lower end. The phone can be bought and shipped in bulk from Asia with custom logos and branding as to give it the appearance of a phone that has been designed for a unique purpose. Asked what justifies the $500 markup, Finman told the Beast that the phone had customized hardware, improved memory, but gave no specifics. As Friday... The detailed specifications for the phone appear on the Freedom White. No detailed specs have appeared, yet people are paying $500 for this. Hickey also told the Daily Dot that Umi Digi phones have poor security, exact opposite of what the Freedom phone touts, because of its use of chips made by the Taiwanese firm MediaTek. In response, a Freedom Phone spokesperson told Insider the chip exploit does not apply to us because we don't use that chip. They did not immediately address any other claims about the phone. The Freedom Phone makes a lot of promises and remains to be seen if it can deliver on them, R wrote a review on Screen Rant. Well, I don't really care about Screen Rant. Um, the, the might of big tech corporations, the major preoccupation of conservative politicians and media figures, most notably after Trump was banned. You know, I think, obviously, I support the idea, but this is just a grift, in my opinion. Um it's painfully obvious when you look at Eric Finman's own post here, which was, I believe, tweeted from an iPhone. Somebody pointed out maybe that was just a meme. They use Twitter Media Studio. I mean, the dude that's talking about uncensorable is censoring posts on the on the reply and blocking people. Where does where does the bad picture stand in this in a couple of days? If a couple or day I say thousands of people use this phone to share this type of stuff, will there be any protection or is it still uncensored? Um, then he got blocked for that answer. Uh, you see, you know, where are these phones manufactured? I hope for something called Freedom Phone. It's manufactured here in the United States. Well, it isn't. Um, dude, the sprawling, utterly illogical answers to your simple question has brought me nothing but joy. Um, you see, he uses an iPhone. You see, this is from July 10th, 21. Aw, oh, so cute. Dude's hawking a phone he won't even use. That's concerning. Actually, let's verify that. Um, I want to verify this. Unless he deleted it. No, he's definitely using an iPhone. So he's selling this phone that he's himself won't even use. I mean, come on, guys. I think that, you know, uh, Mudahar also uh, shared some good information. By the way, this was a thing before in the past. I believe there was like a uh, cell phone put out there that the FBI used as like a honeypot, if I remember correctly. Was that in the 2000s or the 90s? Probably not the 90s. Um, but it's concerning. You could see, you know, tech websites, not just... You know, Gizmodo, of course, a left-leaning website, though. Mega Brand and Freedom Phone is a black box that should be avoided at all costs. Nobody can blame GOP voters for wanting a phone that prioritizes privacy and autonomy, but the Freedom Phone cannot be trusted. Be it gar Parler, Gab, or Gitter, recent times have seen no shortage in dollar sign on entrepreneurs, dollar sign on entrepreneurs looking to capitalize on conservative America's disdain for Silicon Valley. It was only a matter of time before someone tried to invent the megaphone. 
or make that the Freedom Phone. The device, which launched Thursday, is the product of Eric Finman, a 22-year-old crypto millionaire who says that he wants America's patriots to take back control of their lives. Except the problem is you can't do that. I mean, you just, you have no control. You see Mudahar saying here, uh, I'll be buying this NSA backdoor. You can say, using this phone won't maintain your privacy. You can do the same with a custom Android ROM already. For complete privacy, you would need your own cell networks and everything. Even, And even then, you'd be handing over data when the subpoenas roll in. Don't finance this grift, just a non your phone. Um, I mean, that's exact. I mean, I really love the idea and I want to see more development in this direction. But what I don't want is people to grift on it. Um, I'm not throwing shade at Candace or Jack. They're got to get paid too. And if this dude paid them to advertise it, okay, fine. Um, it isn't a solution against Apple and Google, it just isn't. Um, and when you when you shill something like this, you really put a lot of credibility on the line. You know, I get offers all the time for stuff, and, and people can give me criticism for you know taking deals for mobile apps or this or that, and that criticism would be valid. But for something that means so much to me, and that's like um, you know data protection, anonymity, um, dissolving the big tech monopoly, this just isn't it. The fact that it has its own app store really doesn't matter because what happens when people figure out how to block the phone from their from their um, networks or, um, you know, again, when you use it, if you want to connect to Wi-Fi, make your phone calls, which is actually something I've considered since I so rarely use my cell phone and I'm almost always connected to Wi-Fi. Um, even then, of course, your data is going to be collected. Even if you use a VPN, I mean, <clears throat> if you want to present it as a, you know, an alternative to buying an Apple or a traditional Verizon phone or something like that. I hear you, but um, this is definitely suspect. I have the website here, Umidigi A9 Pro. This definitely looks like the phone. Um, you know, the specs of it aren't bad. You know, you have a 48 megapixel camera, 16 megapixel ultra wide angle. You know, you have a, ma a 5 megapixel Mac, uh, Mac uh, macro lens. You've got infrared thermometers you've got all sorts of stuff if this is the phone it's not bad um but it's not a freedom phone what the operating system probably is is just the android operating system standard um you can see here uh is put in by a uh, derp uh says it's literally just an umi digi a9 pro which is just a cheap android phone from china Freedom OS is probably just a reskin version of the Android with the default Google apps removed. The guy behind the phone claimed that they were manufactured in Hong Kong. However, considering the similarities between the phones, it's likely to be an Umi Deji, which is manufactured in Shenzhen, which is right by Hong Kong. Um, so no, don't get sucked into this thing. I want a better solution, but this ain't it. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.